calculate the number of subatomic particles in these two nuclide notations of chlorine atoms. We can see that they have the atomic number 17, so that means that they've got 17 protons which are positively charged. As there is no positive or negative on the nuclide notation, they're classed as atoms, so they have 17 electrons. And if we were to calculate the number of neutrons, the first one has 18 neutrons and the second has 20 neutrons. So when we're comparing these, which allows us to get the definition of an isotope, they have the same atomic number, which means they have the same number of protons, but they have a different mass number, which is a different number of neutrons. Isotopes are atoms that have the same atomic number, meaning they have the same number of protons and a different mass number, so therefore a different number of neutrons. A quick way to remember this is the word top is an isotope because the top number is different. The relative atomic mass is the average mass of all of the isotopes of that element. This can be found on page 7 of your data booklet. So often you'll be asked which isotope is the most abundant. The word abundant me means large quantities. So to identify which isotope there is most of, we have to see which mass number is closest to the relative atomic mass. So here we have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. When we look up the data booklet, we can see that the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Which number is 35.5 closest to? It's closest to chlorine 35, so therefore this isotope is the most abundant, meaning we've got more of this type. In this example, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. So which isotope is the most abundant? 12 is closer to 13 than it is 10, which means carbon 13 is the most abundant isotope. For this example, we've been given nitrogen 13 and nitrogen 15. If we look up the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, it's 14. Which one is it closest to? Well, 14 is exactly halfway between 13 and 15, which means we have equal quantities of each isotope. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2016, written 1B. A sample of nitrogen was found to contain equal amounts of two isotopes. One isotope has a mass number of 14 and the other has a mass number of 15. What is the relative atomic mass of this sample of nitrogen? Remember that the relative atomic mass is the average mass of all of the isotopes of that element. So because we have equal numbers, we need to add 14 plus 15 and divide it by 2. To work out our average so the relative atomic mass is 14.5 this question asks us to use the information from the graph to calculate the relative atomic mass of the sample of boron and a formula is given for us to use so if we take the mass of isotope y which along the x-axis is 10 we extrapolate it along the y-axis from the top of the bar and that tells us that we have a percentage of 20. Plus, we have to add the mass of isotope Z, which is 11, and multiply it by the percentage, which is on the y-axis, of 80, and then divide by 100. When we pop that into our calculator, we get a relative atomic mass of 10.8. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2017, written 1B. A sample of argon contains three types of atom, argon 36, argon 38 and argon 40. This sample of argon has an average atomic mass of 36.2. State the mass number of the most common type of atom in the sample of argon. So we have to look at 36.2, which mass is that closest to? It's closest to argon 36, which means this is the most abundant isotope. 